Hi everyone, this is Donna, the Technology and Media Librarian for Upper Arlington Public Library, here to show you how you can use the Libby app alongside your Kindle device. I mentioned this in the intro to our first video, but just as a reminder, Libby is compatible with Apple and Android mobile devices, so iPhones, iPads, um, and other Android tablets and smartphones. It's also compatible with Windows 10 devices, so you can download the Libby app from the Apple, Microsoft, or Google Play stores depending on the device you have. If you don't have a mobile device, you can even use Libby from your web browser, which is what I've been using for the series of videos. But if you have a Kindle device, whether that's a Kindle Reader or even a Kindle Fire, you can still use Libby to transfer ebooks to your Amazon account and deliver those books to the Kindle of your choice. So. Get your Kindle ready, have your Amazon account information handy, and follow along as I show you how to transfer books from Libby to a Kindle. So here I am on my Libby homepage with the Digital Downloads Collaboration, and I want to show you how you can use the Libby app to transfer an ebook to a Kindle device. So Libby will allow you to read individual ebooks with Kindle as you check them out. Or you can even set up Libby so that your default reading preference is to check out with and read through your Kindle device. So I'll show you both ways to do that. Um, because Libby is available for Apple devices through the App Store, so if you have an iPhone or an iPad, or Android devices through your Google Play Store on the smartphone or tablet, um, you can use that Libby app to send your books to a Kindle device if you prefer to read on an e-reader. Um, or if you're using Libby from a web browser like I am, you can use the Libby web version to send any books that you check out to your library card to your Kindle device. So it's up to you how you want to set that up, but just know that it is an option for you if you're a Kindle reader, if that's your reading preference, this is still an option for you even if you don't have a device that uses Libby. So here's what we'll do to get started. We're going to check out an ebook to ourselves and I'm going to use the same technique I did in our previous video. I'm just going to go to our what's available in books section so I know that's an ebook that I can check out immediately. And what I'll do is I'll select a book. Let's go ahead and borrow this particular book. We know we can check it out to ourselves. Um, we're setting up our loan period here. I'm going to leave all of this at the default. And then I'm going to click on our red borrow button down here at the bottom of the screen. The next step I want to do is to go to my bookshelf because that's how I can decide how I want to read this particular book. So we'll click go to shelf here. And what we'll do is we'll click on this particular book's read with button. And here's where you can decide which method you want to use to read. So if we click read with, we can choose to either read on your Libby app. So if you're using your smartphone or tablet to follow along with this video, when you select Libby, you'll be reading on your mobile device. But if you select Kindle apps and devices, it will send you to your Amazon account so you can log in with Amazon and determine which Kindle device you want to send your book to. So I'm gonna click here on Kindle apps and devices and that will direct us to an Amazon login screen and here is where you'll enter the email address and password associated with the Amazon account that you want to use. So once you've filled this out, you'll hit sign in and you'll be able to get to the library book screen for this particular section of your Amazon account. Now that we've entered the email address and password associated with our Amazon account and we've clicked sign in, we'll end up on this page where what we're looking for is the get library book button and the deliver to whichever device you'd like to deliver your book to drop down menu here. So if you already signed into your Amazon account when you're going through the Libby process, you'll start at this page. You won't have to worry about signing in. Regardless, this is the landing page that you're looking for. We want to click on this get library book button so that we can go from checking out the book on our library card to checking out the book with our Amazon account. And then if you have multiple Kindle devices that are associated with your Amazon account, you can select that device from this drop down menu. So before you hit get library book, just make sure that you're delivering to the correct device. And then once you've confirmed that it is the correct device, go ahead and click this button. 
And on this next page, it will confirm that your digital library book has been checked out. And then as soon as your Kindle device has its Wi-Fi enabled and syncs with your Amazon account, which happens wirelessly, the digital library book will show up in your Kindle library ready for you to read. Now, the next thing you can do is check out this Manage Your Content and Devices page because this is where you can return books that you've checked out from Libby to a Kindle device. You can return them early if you've already finished the book before your loan period ends. So if we click here on Manage Your Content and Devices, we'll go to a new page where you can see all of the library books that are checked out to your Amazon account, in addition to other books that you've perhaps purchased through the Amazon web store. So you can see all of them listed here. If it's a library book, it will indicate that it's been borrowed. And when you see a book that you want to return early, you can select it by checking the box next to it. And we're looking for this little actions button right here. If you click this, you'll see that there's an option to return this book. And if you click that, it will return the book early um, if you haven't yet hit your loan period's due date. So we can go ahead and click this and we can return this library loan back to the Libby library. And then the next time your Kindle device syncs with your Amazon account, that loan will have ended and you won't be able to read the book unless you check it out and re-deliver it. So I'll go ahead and confirm that I'd like to return this book early. And after it's been successfully returned, one other feature I'd like to show you is if a book isn't selected, these buttons are all grayed out. But once you do select another library book, you can click on this deliver button if you'd like to deliver it to a different device that's associated with your Amazon account. So if you've mistakenly delivered it from one device, you can set it to deliver to another or you can delete it from your Amazon account altogether. So that's how you can deliver a book to Kindle and return it early before it hits its due date. Um, I'm going to pause the video and then we're going to go back to our Libby account so I can show you how you can set your reading preferences and make Kindle the default reading device for your Libby account. Up here to the Libby app menu, you'll see that there's an option here under help and support to select read books with. So if we click here on this button, it'll give you the option to pre-select either Kindle apps and devices or Libby as your reading preference. So you can read individual ebooks with Kindle as you check them out and as I demonstrated earlier, or you can simply set Libby up so that your default reading preference is to check out with and read through Kindle. So what you can do is click here on Kindle apps and devices to set that preference. And you'll see a little message letting you know that if the book is Kindle compatible, it'll be sent to your Kindle device when you open it. So I'm going to hide this menu. We're just going to go back to our library and I'll demonstrate what this looks like when you check out a book for the first time. So if we've set that as our preference, we're going to come down here to Available Books. We're going to find an ebook that we can check out right now. I'm just going to go ahead and select this book. I'll click borrow. I'll leave my loan period at the default. I'll check this out by clicking the red borrow button. And now you can see it only says read with Kindle. So we don't have the option to either read with the app right now or read with Kindle and send to Amazon. It has pre-selected it so that it's only giving you the read with Kindle option. And if you click there, it will take you to your Amazon sign-in page so that you could then click the Get Library book and deliver it to the Kindle of your choice. If we go to our bookshelf, we can see again, this is how it'll look. It'll say Read with Kindle. It will not have the Read with button that then lets you click and select Libby or Kindle. Now, you can go back and change your mind. You can decide, okay, maybe just for this book, I do want to read on the Libby app on my mobile device. If you change your mind, no worries. Just click here on the Manage Loan button and select read with for this individual book. And now you can toggle back and forth. You could say, I will do Kindle or no, I'll select Libby for this particular book. Otherwise, you can go back to your shelf or go back to the Libby app. And then here under your menu, you can change your preferences at any time by selecting read books with. And then you could say Libby would be the default, or you could even say I have no preference and it'll ask every time when you check out how you wanna read. 
but that's how you can set up your Kindle preferences from the start so that if a book is Kindle compatible, it will only give you the read with Kindle option and send you to Amazon once you click.